This is amazing. Now you can add open interpreter to Crew AI. This is like the code interpreter for ChatGPT. Why it will be useful to integrate open interpreter to Crew AI? The main difference between Crew AI, Autogen and Taskweaver is the ability to create code and execute code. If your project requires 100% code execution and creation, then you could focus on Taskweaver. That is a code first agent framework. If you want to perform coding and non-coding task, you could prefer Autogen. Crew AI can do only non-coding tasks. That's one of the key difference between these three agent frameworks. But if you want to add coding to Crew AI, that's when you add Open Interpreter to Crew AI. First, we are going to create agent, then assign task to the agent. Finally, we integrate Open Interpreter tool to the crew. Finally, we are going to add a user interface using Gradio and also go through how to integrate Olama in Crew AI. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Open Interpreter integration with Crew AI. In this, we are going to integrate this Open Interpreter and finally add a user interface like this. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So first step, pip install Open Interpreter, Crew AI, Gradio, Langchain and Langchain OpenAI and then click enter. Next, export your OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. Next, let's create a file called app.py and then let's open it. First, from Crew AI, import agent, task, crew and process. Next, importing interpreter, tool from Langchain, chat OpenAI. So as a first step, we are going to set up configuration and tools. So LLM equals chat OpenAI and we are providing the model name. Next, interpreter.autorun equals true. This will automatically execute commands on your behalf. Next, we are setting up the LLM model for interpreter. So this LLM will be used by Crew AI. This LLM model will be used by interpreter. Next, we're gonna to create tools. So that is called CLI tool. So this tool can create and execute code using open interpreter. We are calling the function interpreter.chat to initiate interpreter within Crew AI. So now we are going to create agents and assign tasks for them. Step number two, creating agent for CLI tasks. CLI agent, role software engineer, ability to perform CLI operations, write programs, execute using executor tool. And we are assigning the tool here. Next, we are creating task, CLI task. Identify the OS and then empty my recycle bin. So this is a basic computer operation. Next, creating the crew. We are assigning those agents, task, Process is sequential. Manager LLM is the OpenAI chat GPT. Finally, we are going to run the crew. CLI underscore crew dot kickoff and print the results. That's it. Just this one bit of code will integrate the open interpreter in your crew AI, giving the ability to write and execute code. This is a workaround to create and execute code in crew AI. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal python app.py and then click enter. You can see the agent started working. It's trying to identify the computer's OS, which is Mac OS. And then finally, it's clearing my trash using Open Interpreter. So here's the final response. The operating system has been identified as Mac OS. I had cleared all the files from the trash. Now we are going to add a user interface for this. To do that, import Gradio as GR. You can mention this at the top of the file, but just for your understanding, I'm writing it here. Next, we are defining the CLI interface and providing the command. So we are modifying the CLI task description. So you can see the CLI task description. By using CLI task dot description, you are modifying this command. And you are assigning that as a variable, and then crew kick off, and then return the result. Next, gr.interface, and passing the CLI interface function with the text box as input, and the output will be in text format. Finally, iface.launch to start the user interface. Now I'm going to run this code, Python app.py and click enter. One thing I might need to remove, which is the result here and the print statement. I'm going to run again. And here is the URL for the user interface. I'm going to open it and here's the interface. So I'm going to ask write a Python program to find the stock price of Apple using Y Finance, execute the code and return the result. And I'm going to click Submit. If you see the terminal, you can see the code running. That is the open interpreter 
it's going through step by step. First, it's verifying if it's Y Finance is installed or not. It came up saying that since I cannot execute code or access external data, which is wrong, we added Open Interpreter. This is because we need to modify or optimize the prompt accordingly. So I'm going to modify the code here. Always use the executor tool, expert in command line operations, creating and executing code. Now let's try this again, opening the URL, asking the same question. In the terminal, I can see it's trying to run the code and it is checking if Y Finance is already installed or not. I can see the code got executed. And finally, here is the response, which we also can see that in the user interface. It is US dollar 182.31. One thing to note is that currently we are directly running commands in our computer using Open Interpreter, which we need to be cautious because it can even delete your own files. But Autogen provides another way that is using Docker to execute these commands. You should still be able to modify this tool to include Docker as well. I'm not going to include that to keep this tutorial short. Now let's add Olama and run a local large language model with this. To do that, pip install langchain community and then click enter. Mostly by default, this package is automatically included with your crew AA package. But just to let you know that these are the packages required to run, I'm just installing it. From langchain community.lms import olama. Now we're going to modify this configuration. So changing the LLM is olama model mistral. Then auto run is true. LLM model is openai slash mistral and API base is this URL. That's the olama base URL. Next, providing the API key, a fake API key. Offline equals true. Providing the max tokens, retries and context window. You can modify these according to your needs. The maximum number of tries is 20 I gave because mostly these models struggle to implement any code. So in general, any open source model running locally on your computer struggle to run agents for now. So now we are going to run this code with Mistral model. Let's see what's going to happen. Python app.py and click enter. Now providing the same command and then click submit. As expected, it didn't work. Agents stopped due to iteration limit or time limit. It tried 20 times, but still it failed. So just keep a note of that, that if you run any open source large language model locally on your computer, it's very less likely that it's going to perform these tasks. One thing to note is that I have already covered Crew AI, Autogen and Task Weaver. So I will link all those in the description below to get a better understanding. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.